What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Duga. I come at y'all with another video, man. <clears throat> Excuse me. And today, man, I'm going to talk about um, them during the week. Um, Cleveland Browns defensive end Miles Garrett was reinstated by the NFL, and he still insists that Pittsburgh still is quarterback. Mason Rudolph um, called him a racial slur, yo. Um, before I get into this video, man, for everyone, if you want to give me a find on Instagram or send me a friend request on Facebook, I'm going to have my Instagram and my Facebook information down in the description box. Um, come give me a file on the gram. Come send me a request on the book. Um, come highlight at your boy, yo. Um, first off, man, I must say I'm a little surprised he got reinstated. Uh, I thought for sure that the suspension was going to go into next season. I mean, granted, bro, you can't. <laughs> Like, you can't hit somebody in the head with a helmet, man. That's a whole charge, in my opinion, man. Um, I get it. You know, he an NFL player. He in the heat of the battle. But I feel like, man, if any one of us, man, was to go to, like, Academy or, you know, just any store that got Walmart, any store that may have a helmet, and we grab that thing and we hit somebody in the head with it, yo, that's a charge. <laughs> like, we leave it in handcuffs, man. Now, I'm not saying the man, you know, should have got handcuffed on the field or nothing like that, but I'm saying it's like, you know, you privileged to be an NFL player that... You know, the fact that Mason Rudolph didn't have severe damage to his head, which could have happened, that you was lucky to walk out of that situation with, with a suspension, and that's pretty much it. You know, but, and, you know, of course, losing money. But um, I was a little surprised, man, because uh, Roger Goodell, you know, he's really, you know, been very, very strict, you know, when it comes to certain things, man. Um, You know, we seen Tom Brady get suspended, man. We seen Ezekiel Elliott get a six-game suspension. Man, hell, I seen Lane Johnson get a, what, a 10-game suspension for PEDs, man. Um, And what, this this occurred, I don't even think this ended up being a 10-game suspension for Miles Garrett. So I was a little surprised, yo, um... You know, but granted, I mean, obviously he should be able, it's not like it's a situation he should never play again because of that. Because fact of the matter is, you know, he didn't seriously, seriously hurt Rudolph. Um, but, you know, he got to be better than that, man. You can't go out there in the heat of the moment grabbing helmets, hitting people in the head. Um, you know, and I'm not going to sit here and absolve um, Mason Rudolph of any actions neither because, I mean, he acted like a little punk out there. Let's call it what it is, yo. Um, you know, you... You grabbing the man, you you grab kicking on the, um, you know pushing on the man and stuff like that. Just being a little aggravating, little brat. You know what I'm saying? Now nah, I will say this, man. I know it's a sensitive topic. Um, did he use? I don't I don't know if I quite believe that to be honest with you. By me being an African American male, uh, if someone called me that. That, that would have been the first thing I would have said in the press conference. As soon as I got a microphone in front of my face, hey, he called me, you know what, yo. And, you know, in, in that case, you know, in some senses, you could justify his actions a little bit, yo. Um, if somebody called you that in the on, on the football field, you feel like you want to destroy them, you know, and quite honestly, man. Um, not saying that is all the way right. But, you know, as an African-American male, you know, that's a word that, that goes back to, you know, the ancestor and things like that. Now, granted, at the same time, I understand, you know, we need to be better as far as, you know, calling ourselves that in front of people of different ethnicities. You know, whenever we do that, you know, we give the presence that it's allowed, that it's OK. Now, in certain situations, you know, certain minorities will, you know, if they may have, you know, friends of different ethnicities, call them that as far as like us we call that to each other and they okay with it hey that's fine <laughs> you know um but if it's something that you know we not boys or we not really really cool like that and it's the heat of the argument and you calling me that to insult me then you know yeah it's a, it's a huge problem um but I'm not sure if he did that, to be honest with you. I'm not sure. Now, if it comes out that Mason, that somehow that is, is accurate, Mason Rudolph did use a racial slur, then I'll have a different tone, obviously. But if just asking my opinion, which I have no way, obviously, of, of proving he did or proving he didn't, but just my opinion, um, the way everything transpired, transpired, I don't think he used that, man. Um, I think it's a way of, of Miles Garrett kind of, trying to justify his acts a little bit, I guess, 
you know, trying to make it look like, hey, I had a reason to flip out the way I did. But that's something that, man, in the post game, that's something that that the first time a microphone get in my face, me personally, I'm letting y'all know, hey, he called me this word, yo. Now, granted, I shouldn't have flipped out like I did, but he called me this. Um, so, you know, it's still an ongoing thing. I see Mike Tomlin came out today and, and, and um, backed up Mason Rudolph, said, I don't believe he said it. Mason Rudolph said it's a bold-faced lie. Um, Miles Garrett saying otherwise. Obviously, in this situation, somebody is lying. <laughs> you know, it's no if, ands, or but. Somebody is just flat-out blatantly lying, you know. So, you know, hopefully this thing gets sincerely resolved sooner or later. Hope that it would be all over with, but apparently it looks like it isn't over with yet, yo. Um, but I'm a little surprised Garrett back in the league this soon, but hey, good for him. Um, and just learn from your mistakes, yo, and, and get better. Because, I mean, we all could agree he's a great football player and the Cleveland Browns need things to start happening for them in a positive light after the very, very disappointing season they just had. Um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Go on, hit the like button for your boy and give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have Philadelphia Eagles and NFL content throughout the year. Also, this coming Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Pacific. I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all can come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything. I'll answer your questions. Respond to your comments and give you a shout out on the live, yo. Um, Y'all should come join me. It'll be some good stuff. Until then, man, y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.